Hello everybody, Captain Thief. Advanced Wars Dual Strike Mission 21 Healing Touch. This one might be a tad hard. The enemy heals every turn, I think. It's it's pretty messed up. Everything makes so much more sense now. This Von Bolka is manipulating Black Hole from behind the scenes. Exactly. He's using the Black Hole army as a tool to leverage his own ambitions. You can thank him for turning this place into a wasteland, too. So we take that old dude down and save the plant. Enough said. But we don't even know where he is. Hand me your map. What? There's a well camouflaged base in the middle of Red Rock Desert. There's concerts there every Friday. Take this road, it will lead you right to it. Are you serious? Don't let him fool you, he's one of them. Chill, Max, it's cool. Wow, you're just completely, you know, bamboozling Max. You're making him look like a fool, Jake. Jake, did you fall on your head? Can't you see what he's doing? Think about it, what's Black Hole get by invading a bunch of dried up land? They don't get Jack. The army can't get can't be behind this. There's got to be some evil freak job pulling the strings. Yeah, but Jake. Grr. All right, fine. There's no way I'm trusting a word out of anyone but from Black Hole. But I'll trust you, Jake. Even if I don't think you're, even if I do think you're kind of crazy. I'm with you too, Jake. Hawk has pointed the way. Let's roll out. Wait, Lash and I are coming with you. Huh? Have you completely snapped? You want to join our alliance? What are you scheming? This way, I'll have a better chance to survive. That is all. I'm going to use you. You're going to use me. It's that simple. Yeah, he's incredibly pragmatic. If we're going to believe what you told us, we might as well trust you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, Hawk. Lash, you're in. But I'm in charge. What I say goes. I can't believe you're serious about this. Welcome to our crew, Hawk. You too, Lash. Spare me. I fight for myself. Wow. He's definitely no Ike. People who played lots of Brawl will get that reference. If you want to save, if you want to save your land, we must go. They're moving out even as we speak. I hear you. Prepare to move out. That's the second time you've had to say move out. All right, now. Oh man, I'm getting a bad frame right here. What is this place? Look at all these wrecked units. It's giving me the creeps. Black crystals. There are so many. We called this the Tower of Rebirth. It was used to repair all the units you damaged. With the power of the crystals, we can completely repair anything in five days. The current of your trickery is lifted. Or, curtain, sorry. This is the source of your endless horde. Let's take it down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, kid. I saw this kind of thing back on Barren Island. These those black crystals are sucking the life out of the island, out of the land. Those things are going down. I can't... Don't care even... I don't even care what it takes. Jake's right. We can't let this continue. Regardless, we can't move forward as long as they are standing. The black crystals must fall. Well, if it isn't the bird boy betrayer and his squeaky little friend Lash. I was sure you pests had been squashed, yet here you are. How annoying. Kendall, you ketchup tipped overgrown hunk of asparagus, you're going to pay. Oh my, what a fierce little kitten you've become and such a sharp tongue. You're guilty of treason, and I sentence you to death! I'm the judge and jury. Now my army will be my executioner's axe. Battle software loaded. Ah ha ha ha, turn off your speaker, Jugger. There's no only room for one on this stage. Now then, are you ready, fools? Behold the power of the Tower of Rebirth. Bow down and beg for mercy. Ah ha ha ha! Okay, so this one actually isn't that hard. I mean... Normally you want to be kind of take things slow and calculating and try to, you know, be somewhat defensive. And you know what? It could also you could also say it might be somewhat the same here too. But your first few moves, I think, you want to take as many things as possible while safely doing so. And your first few turns. Because the first turn the things you fight will only have one health. The second turn the things you fight will only have three health. The third turn they'll have five health, however. And by that time, you're probably running low on units. Unfortunately, you are using... Hang on, what's going on down... Okay, so we actually have some enemies down here that we may... We may want to use these missiles, too, to clean up the rest, but... Yeah. Now, in my opinion, it's kind of helpful to destroy the crystals, but it's even more worth it to destroy units. They don't have any way of building any more units. They have a couple of cities, but they're not really making stuff... On that note, do we have the ability to make units? That's a problem and a half. Um, city, city, city. Oh, wait. That's my HQ. 
Um, I'm not seeing... Okay, I'm seeing a factory in an airport, so we have to actually get in there in order to fight. But we want to take out their more powerful units if we can. Because the way it works is that the uh, when their turn comes, the crystals go off, they heal, and then they move. So, you know, I'm not going to be fighting level 1 guys for two turns. I'm going to be fighting level 1 ones for half a turn because my turn, and then they heal up, and then they strike me. So, so fun stuff. We also want to be somewhat conservative with uh, the units because... Um, perhaps this guy can only go so far. We want to take out something with him before we just take out everything with, you know, the furthest moving units, you know? On that note, I don't know exactly what their health looks like. It could be just, you know, one little bit of health left, or it could be an entire 10% left. And that does make a difference. Um, thankfully we have both orange and blue here. I think we can switch out Hawk and Lash. I mean, don't get me wrong, Hawk is fine, Lash is fine, but like I said, I want to get as much EXP as possible with, um, what's her name, Rachel, and let's go to setup. Let's see if we're able to switch out. Um, Rachel? Yeah, Rachel, especially Rachel here, if she can get her super missiles going, and the fact that she fixes faster, that's a real boon, then we do better. Uh... Javier is actually really good late game here. Who else was I leveling? Colin? Hang on, let me, let me check. Nope, not Colin. Probably Max. Javier is, or er, sorry, Javier. Javier. Sorry, Rail. I'm sorry. Javier is really good late game here because look at all these towers. If you can get Blue to own three of them or all six, if you're really that inclined, but believe me, you're probably not you're not going to be able to pass by the middle here too easily and well it's just a novelty at that point um, we want to take over the towers and then Javier can get defense bonuses it's, it's really good I think each tower for him is worth a star so that means being out in the open means he has a three star defense bonus it's, it's as if he's in the woods or something or no in a city being out in the open and if he's in a city well he's wow just unstoppable six stars guys uh still i want rachel to be there to uh take some hits this is a good place for exp though and you know max wouldn't be too bad here either because there's a standstorm going on everyone's range units suck anyway and you you know might as well level up max a bit right but i like javier he's actually an interesting character i think not that i'm all too into the uh, whole chivalry thing but, you know, it's just knighthood, man. Knighthood. Okay, so I guess I am into chivalry, but whatever. Uh, the crystals themselves are actually kind of hard to destroy. They should be about as hard as a wall. But... If you really tried, Mr. Tank, could you make it... One, two, three... He could actually destroy a crystal. And that's actually really good. Because I think, you know, even though all of their en enemies are damaged, they're still going to kind of rush the front. So if we can destroy crystals in the front, then all the enemies in the front, guess what, don't get healed. I think the AI may be smart enough to know that they need to park next to healing crystals, though. Oh, by the way, the healing crystals don't heal me. Just thought I'd let you know. Alright, so I think I kind of got an idea going on here. I'm going to use Javier mostly as CO diversity, I guess. We can also level COs in the challenges, and that's actually a really, really effective way to get EXP. I'll probably go into that some episode. Um, there's, oh, uh, I've leveled up since then, haven't I? Let's, uh, let's check on that. Um, yeah, the music slows down when there's a sandstorm because it's cutting my frame rate a bit. Skills, how you doing, Jake? Are you rank five yet? He's rank four. He's rank four. And let's have a look at these things. Road Rage, Road Attack plus 10%, that's good. Woods Attack plus 10, that's good. Urban Fighter, so, you know, all the ter all the terrains pretty much get attack or something up. Backstab's not too bad, but that's mostly if you're specializing and stuff like that. Other than that, eh, you know what's interesting is that there's no Plains Rage. Jake, you are unique in that way. I feel like we might want Road Attack. But hang on, let, let me have a look. Okay, that that's okay, but 
Um, I think this means that your other teammate is stronger all the time. And that's actually really good. It's actually really good, especially if you're like Colin or something. You're trying to make your can Colin can base strategy really work. Mechanics good, sale price, that's all right. Sneaky. We'll think about it. APC guard, no. No, okay, so I think, I'm thinking about going with road attack. As much as I would like to help uh, Sasha. Sasha. Um, Sasha, you're, you're staying there. Okay, so what should we do for her level two? Probably that. I mean, you can pick two rank ones. There's nothing stopping you. In fact, you can take two rank twos. You can take four of any whatever shows up here. It's just how long it takes to get these is all. Uh, what was this? Luck. Um, I'm kind of liking the comm tower effect. So we're going to go with that. Uh, Rach. Jake. Let's look at Rach. Rachel. What you got? Oh, she did not rank up yet. But she is rank 3. I, I, I guess she was really close to ranking up, but she just couldn't. Um, and Javier, I already know, is rank 0. So there's no point in even looking there. So my thing is I'm probably going to try and take out as many enemies as, enemies as I can with these front units. Uh, I'll probably try and shoot down the uh, these two guys. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It really doesn't. So try to take out as many as you can with whatever I can. Then take out the crystal with this uh, mega tank. That uh, means I'm going to have to destroy somebody here, so, you know, that's that's no problem with me. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to send this... Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. I, it's no point planning if I can just do it in real time, right? That's right. Okay, well, here we go. Let's go. Healing touch. So, you know, Jake having road attack means that I don't feel too terrible about parking on a road when I attack something. And there will be many roads. Every black crystal gets shattered. Don't leave a single one standing. This pollution has gone on long enough. Well, I'd hate to tell you this, Jake, but we really should leave one standing. And let me tell you why. The reason why I think we should probably leave one standing is because if we can reverse engineer them... Ooh. Who do I destroy with this? Probably the, the infantry, so he's out of the way. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to do the MD tank thing. I hope this can destroy it in one hit. Oh, it totally does. All right, good. Destroyed one. So now I'm kind of sort of free to, you know, move about the cabin. Um, I hate to do this, but I guess I'm going to use one of my recons to destroy this guy. Hang on. He can reach the tank, actually. I feel like the tank makes more sense. The tank is a little more damaging. All right. Blow. Okay, so now we know they have 10% health. That's actually kind of bad for me. Oh well. Um, my choppers would really appreciate it if I destroy any fighters with my anti-air, but I don't want to lose my anti-air either. And that kind of puts them in a in a vulnerable situation, to say the least. How much damage can I do to a crystal with my anti-air? 11. Now, that's not bad, but not really worth it for right now. Okay, it looks like uh, my Neo tank is going to have to destroy this infantry. Or maybe the uh, recon down there. Um, we'll just let the south be that way. I mean, I'm betting this will go fine. Sure. Okay, so... You. Start taking this over if you would, please. And let's guard him too from the north. So we're going to send somebody up, up that way to... Uh, keep him from being able to be struck. Yeah, it sucks to be you guys. Okay. Alright, so they actually don't have even 10% health. Anything, any nudge could probably destroy these guys. Um, this crystal's no longer here, so he's not even going to be healed. It's not actually that imperative that I do any damage to them right now. Um, but who would be healed? Probably a bit further north. I think... I'm not sure how far. Enemies within two spaces. So one, two, one, two, one, two. So, you know, just basically this huge diamond shape all gets healed. Every turn. For free. That's the big part. For free. It doesn't cost them a thing. All right. All right. Uh, let's destroy what we can then. Even though... 
you know, maybe this doesn't make as much sense. Boom. Cool. Cool beans. And... I don't really mind their APCs living so much. Hmm. I am going to get trounced a little bit by uh, an MD tank if I go up that way. So let's just keep it down here, keep it kind of cool and collected, and let's just take out a fighter. Because I don't like their fighters, I really don't. And we may want to actually start an operation to start... Hang on. What's your range look like on this? Hmm. It'll work. I'll keep them sealed in there. And as much as I don't like doing this, I'm going to block them in with this. Yeah, okay, cool. So they'll be blocked in. I'll try and destroy them. Won't be very easy, though. And then I can start make, working my way in there and maybe take some factories. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Okay, I don't see any other units I can move or anything I can do at this point. Let's just go ahead and... end. <clears throat> This is a turning point in the war. We've got to win this. Sir Javier shall kick your foul buttocks with his steely boots of justice. I couldn't have said it better myself, Javier. Alright, so now the question is, can I destroy the Black Crystal with my launchy mid-launch? Let's have a look. Uh, doing 55. That's not bad. I don't, have an, I don't have a mega tank here. I do have a bomber, though. Um, hmm. Yeah, I should be careful about my air units with these guys here. Um, but the strategy somewhat remains. I want to do as much damage as possible, but I also want to make sure that that crystal gets destroyed. That would really help. So I can either take out the copter, and that may open up the way from the right. In fact, that's probably a smarter thing to do. But opening up the way from the left is also pretty good, but I also like the idea of getting rid of a copter. Whereas the APC, I don't care if the APC lives or dies. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, I do in the grand scheme of things. But come on, guys. It's just a battle copter. Alright, so I haven't really done my homework on this. Maybe a bad plan, but, you know, we'll see if I can destroy this from here. Uh, copter, no. Crystal, yeah. Alright, so, cool. Broker crystal. That's good. That's very good. Um... What should I do with down here, though? Can I destroy anybody with this thing? No, not really. Not right now. Um, what's your range look like? Yeah, he'll be able to attack. Well, he'll only have one health. In fact, he'll have less than one health. So I don't really mind too much putting my, my thing in. Well, I do. Because even moving right here might put him in harm's way of this anti-air. Let's scroll down a bit, please. Right? No? Actually, he'll be just fine. Uh, but, what about my stealth bomber? Oh, um, my stealth bomber's not too happy about that. Hmm. What about this bomber? Okay. Hmm. Just trying to think. If I destroy this, will this chopper be able to get to that guy? Probably. Hmm. Yeah, the, the music is not really deciding on what it wants to do here. I want to destroy these things down here, though, because I don't want them wrecking up the place. Sadly. Well, let's do that. I mean, granted, it costs them money to fix this stuff down here, but all the same. Let's just let's just take care of it, and then I can go back up. Yeah. And let's start taking over one of the comm towers. ASAP. Alright, the mech can make it. That's good. Unfortunately, though, he's going to get ticked by this thing, probably. And that'll mean that he won't be able to take it over next turn. Uh, that's bad. Okay. Alright, whatever. Um, I would like plus one movement. That'd be great. That'd be a nice thing to have right now. Is this it? Yeah, he's able to attack my stealth. So you know what? I don't really care. Let's just take out this. Because one, we are doing... Yes, we are destroying a whole bunch of units, but we're actually doing very minimum damage. 
So that means that they are not getting a whole lot of star power. See, it's barely filled, and yet I've destroyed a, a huge chunk of their army. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking about what to do here. Can you reach just below that? I hate it when it zooms, toggles for me or whatever. He can. Yeah, I don't really like that too much. Um, is it that important that I get these comm towers? Yeah, it is. So let's just go ahead and take this guy out. Yep. And I will also move this guy a little bit closer just so he can get in on the action. And this place is clear. I guess we can just move this APC up and, you know, resupply whoever. And... I think that'll do it. Now comes the misery. Well, not so much the misery yet. I don't have Javier really doing anything right now. He doesn't get his comm tower stuff until he gets a comm tower, so it doesn't really make sense to switch to him just yet. Alright. Ah ha ha ha. All we have to do is repair our units. We'll win eventually. Well, yeah, unless I completely destroy them. Okay, so it looks like the front line is actually backing away, and they're going to lose their MD tank. Good. What kind of sucks about this, though, is that this guy has very low ammo. They're going to lose another MD tank. Good. All right. So they just, you know, destroyed their best units, sending them at my MD tank. Except, you know, they, they did the Zap Brannigan strategy, just sending a whole bunch of, you know, wave after wave of their own men at my MD tank. And then he ran out of ammo. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good strategy. Especially since my APC is way over there. Um, oh, looks like I didn't do too bad there. And now they have CO power. That's not too good. Hooray. I don't care. Alright. So now what's going on? Alright. Oh, oh no, not my APC. Well, thankfully my APC can head up north this turn. So maybe he can hit the, uh, Neo the Mega Tank before anything else. <clears throat> okay. And yeah, I'm going to be able to take out their tanks. That's good. That's really good. And she's not going to be able to do her urban blight thing too well. Uh, this is going to hurt a bit. With no retaliatory effect from me. Oh well. Um, so yeah, my APC can reach up there next turn, I hope. And then I can start, you know, destroying things again. I, all in all, I think this was a very good turn. Um, unfortunately, Rachel's superpower is the one with missiles. You know, one thing I can do, though... One thing I could totally do is send guys down here for the missiles alone. Um, I'm going to do what I said, though, and resupply everybody. And you take this over before I do anything else. And you destroy the tank, I think. Oh, hang on. If I can save my move for the wall, I would like that. So let's see. I can definitely destroy the recon. Probably with my recon. Yeah, let's do that. Um, that worked, I'm gonna say. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, I'm gonna have to do it this way. Fine, whatever, you win, have fun. Destroyed. And then I'll just move this guy down here. And this guy's one move away from being able to missile. That's good. That's really good. I still think I can move blue when I can't yet. Alright, let's save Grandpappy Tank some heartache. You know, we're gonna fill Kindle. Oh, wait, we're fighting Jugger. Hang on. I better watch how much I'm doing. Okay, it's gonna be a while before they get to the tag battle status. Tag battle ability. Tag battle mefaddle. Fiddle faddle. Can the Neo Tank reach? No, not the middle crystal. I don't really mind crystals that aren't surrounded by enemies. I really don't care. I still want to destroy what I can destroy. So let's see, what can, what can I reach? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Four. And then that's where he ends. Um, might as well take out their middle column. 
And yes, I'm gonna uh, uh, just used up one third of my ammo. That's fine though. That's more than fine. That's more than fair. And we'll just move closer while we're doing this. Let's see. Neo tank unfortunately doesn't get any play here. Oh well. Um, let's take out the bomber. A bit. That means my anti-air is probably going to take it on the chin next turn from maybe a few tanks or missiles. Definitely probably going to take it from that thing. That's fine though. I need to take out what I can. They can't make anything, so what they got is what they got. And I'll be able to missile next turn, so that'll renew my ability to clean up, so to speak. Alright. Works for me. Um, I know, it really makes sense to switch to Sasha, but... I, I just don't see any way around them being able to attack power. Ish. Ish. Uh, can you reach that stealth, that fighter over there? No? Great. This is great. Oh, let's capture this. Hooray, Javier does something now. Uh, can't reach that guy either, but he can reach that recon. Not like that matters. I'm just gonna, you know, cruise around and destroy it from here. Yeah. Goodbye. Let's see, and we need to take out this fighter. So let's do that with the stealth fighter. And there we go. Boom. Now part of what's making them really strong is the fact they have six towers, guys. That You don't get around that. You just don't. Um, victory condition is to destroy as many uh, as all the crystals. So I don't think I think I can destroy all the units and still destroy the crystals for EXP. Let's load this guy in there so he can missile them. This guy will be our eventual guy for taking over towers and stuff. Yes, that makes all the sense in the world. All right, now what kind of do they have any like bombers or something? I'm thinking not really, so I'm just going to pull my stealth, my fighter back a bit and just destroy this copter. Yeah. Cool. Cool beans. Um, let's also be careful about what my bomber does. The other thing that can fix him is an, is an airport. Or a black boat, I guess. If you're going to be like that, guys. Um, let's move this guy into a strategic position. Let's cover him with an APC. And, you know, in case they send some sort of bomber over here or something. Yeah. And then we'll just send this guy up. Yep, works for me, and then this will head on down here. Well, I guess we should be working our way in, but let's just give this to Orange. I don't care. This is going to be a quick mission, guys. I hope. You only have two bullets, but he only shoots his bullets against uh, tanks and stuff. He's not going to retaliate against these guys with he's gonna use his machine gun against infantry so he's fine um that'll work they're not gonna be able to tag power this turn five 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 uh it's just terrible terrible for me all right here come the missiles I and mean, with four comm towers too so you know it's it's a bit more damage than you would expect um all right, I think my in, my mega tank can still take. Yeah, can still do this. It's fine. He's just running on ammo again. Here comes the MD tank. Oh, that hurts. Kind of want Rachel on Orange Star team now. See you later, anti-air. That's one of my. That's my first unit down. Hopefully not first of many, but you know, it's it still hurts. Quite a bit. Okay, that, that wasn't too bad. My Neo tanks really took that well. Okay. So, first things first. Did they destroy my. A no, they didn't destroy my APC. I don't know why I thought that. Um, let's see. What is the most potent thing I could do? Probably launch the missile so it hits right here. Or right here. It's not going to affect the crystals, though, I don't think. I want this missile, this guy, in, in the picture, though, so it's probably going to be about here-ish. We might miss this copter, and I'm not too happy about that. Okay, let's make it right here. It'll hit the copter, and this thing, and this thing, and it'll miss this anti-air, but, you know, my tanks can take care of it. This tank can take care of that anti-air. That's how, how 
full and ready he is to go. Uh, let's just go ahead and capture. Cool. Cool. Um, let's also, you know, not forget to always supply this guy with tons and tons of good health. Okay, let's let's do this. Launch. Okay. So how do I go up? Probably okay, here we go. I figured it out. What did I agree on? I want to damage the copter. Missiles cannot kill, by the way. They can only damage. So I'm gonna aim for this bush right here. Boom. Alright, that's not bad. That was pretty good actually. 